Today on Learning, Brent and I are going to show you how to do a lizard eye effect. Hey Bobby. What's up Brent? What's up with the hat? Oh, this? Yeah, the, the one on your head. I'm just protecting myself from aliens. Oh. And the lizard people. Okay, that makes sense. Do you um, want one? I got you one too. Actually, I would love one. So the last thing I want is for aliens coming after me. Yeah. Because as much as the government doesn't want to tell us, they're out there. Yeah. And I, I'm like Mulder from X-Files. I want to believe. You know, I do believe. I have the poster in my house. Wow, I want really? to believe. No, I don't. Not uh, really. As we all know, lizard people run the world. Exactly. That That's is, why we're here today. We're not denying that. That's a fact. That's a okay? fact. So basically, we're going to show you today on Vlearning how to make a regular person look like a lizard man. All right, guys. So today we're going to be using the software After Effects. After Effects. And you can get After Effects with Adobe Creative Cloud. Today, we're going to be taking this video of a woman smiling and we're going to make her into what she really is. Yes, we're, we're going to reveal. We're going to expose the truth. We're going to expose the truth that she is actually a lizard woman. So let's take a look at this video for reference here. We're going to take a look at the real lizard proof and what it looks like. Okay, oh, so there we are. As you can see, within the pupil, the lizard eye does a nice little right there. Blinks, so, blinks vertically. Yeah, so let's... Let's get the pupil to blink vertically. So yeah. here we go. So let's open up our After Effects file and we will zoom in on our right eye here. We are going to take this video mm -hmm. and let's duplicate it by How do we clicking Control D Control on the keyboard. D. So that'll duplicate our layer and create a new layer. Okay, cool. Now let's zoom in here, okay? So we're going to be taking the iris here and we're going to be making a mask on the iris. So we've created our mask on the iris mm -hmm. and we're going to take our anchor point here and we're going to hit our Y key on the keyboard and drag that anchor point right to the edge. So let's zoom in. Okay, yeah, there it is on the left side there. And now you can see our anchor point is right there on the left. Mm -hmm. So if we go into our layer and click our S key on the keyboard, that'll bring up our scale. Let's unlink it. So if we unlink it, now we can move the dimensions. Oh, okay. Whoa. Yeah, I see what's happening there. So we want the eye basically to blink right in this little window of time where the mask lines up with the iris. What we're going to do is we're going to take our scale and we are going to move along the timeline and we'll move the scale outward like this, okay? And we're created with a little bit of a feather because we don't really want a hard line there. We'll make it more, look more realistic. And now let's take our mask path, select our keyframe there, drag it so that it starts off here. And right when the eye does its little lizard action right there, yep. we'll take our mask and we'll move the whole thing upward. Okay? So now you kind of got this little action going on. Yeah, I see it. I see it. Now we got, we're going to want it to go back to normal. So within this time frame, we'll want it to return to its normal state. So let's drag our twitch to the left here and we'll adjust the mask accordingly so it looks right. You're going to do a lot of adjusting on this kind of thing based on the video that you're using. Um, we're using this kind of shaky video. The, obviously, the better, the uh, more still the video is, the better in this case. Uh, and let's bring our scale back to normal. So basically now you can see here that you got a little eye twitch going on. Cool. So I think that maybe it's a little too slow. So yeah, if we take our it up a bit. alt key on the keyboard, we can speed it up. And now we can easy ease these by clicking our F9 key on the keyboard so it looks a little bit more organic. Okay. Now it's looking pretty good so far. But there's one more thing we have to do, which is take the other side of the eye mm -hmm. and do the same thing. So now let's basically do what we just did, but reverse. So let's copy and paste our first layer here. And let's label these to help a little bit better. So we'll say left twitch and relabel this top one, right twitch. So now we know which one's which. No, which twitch is which. Twitch, which. 
Switch <laughs> snitch. So make sure that you have your right Twitch selected. Okay. And we'll create a mask on that one as well. Very similar to the other mask. Okay. Now, we are going to select our anchor point and move it to the side right here so that we can move our scale accordingly. And let's open up our scale again by clicking S on the keyboard and we'll unlink that. So now it's going to be doing the same thing on this side. And I wanna adjust this mask just a little bit. So we can go into our mask properties here, select mask expansion to edit it. Now let's go back to our scale here. And now let's select our scale and we'll move in to the twitch. Zoom in here so we can get at the right keyframe. And we're going to want to, again, do a little bit of a feather on our mask. You can actually quickly get to the feather by clicking F on the keyboard. We'll do that right there. So now we have our scale coming in and back out. Now let's copy that, and paste that so that it comes back to where it was. And now we're going to take our mask path and we're going to make sure that the mask is where it should be for every point on this video. So that's looking pretty good, okay? And let's go back over here and we'll drag our mask up to where it should be. Cool. All right, so now if we hit our U key on the keyboard, that'll bring up these properties and let's also hit F9 for that too. So now we got the nice little organic looking eye twitch. So let's take a look and see what this lizard woman looks like when her right eye is twitching. Ooh. Nice. nice. Look at that, Brent. She's a, li she's a lizard. <laughs> that is really creepy. I, I feel like it, it makes me believe. <laughs> I mean, listen, I already believed, but you know, this only just True. furthers my resolve to get to the truth. Do the sound effect. Yeah, there you go. Be careful out there, guys. Um, remember that if you're like Brent, you're on the run from the government. Yes. Uh, you shouldn't be doing videos like this. Brent's yeah, just should, a risky man. I, I know, I shouldn't be broadcasting where I am at all times on the internet, but listen, I'm bold. I am He's a warrior for the truth. Yeah. And the, we, the truth needs to be heard, so. The truth must um, be heard. So I'll keep broadcasting it until the man takes me down. I'm oh. Lizard. And I'm Gizzard. And. And. Go to screen record, baby. Oh, that was a nice voice right there. Yeah, this is like Frank Sinatra or something. You could be Frank Sinatra today. I'll be Randy Newman. So, Brent, <laughs> what are we working on today? Bobby, we are working on... The lizard people just like you and me. Beep, 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 beep. All right, well, at least we got our end plate out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> And let's uh, let's take that little video. This actually yeah. looks a lot like a woman that I fell in love with in uh, in uh, Philadelphia. Oh, okay. Was she also a lizard person? She was. Okay, that's fair. She was a lizard person. That's fair. Yeah, they call her. They call them uh, lilfs. Let's look for reference. Yes. Uh oh, you're in trouble now. Ah! I think we're safe now. We Are been, we safe? I think so for the moment. <sighs> Luckily, right. we're in this uh, our bunker here. The yeah, walls I mean, are lined with lead. Luckily, like, we've got, you know, Charles McGill. Here. I already have a plate in my head, so uh, good, I'm, good. I'm already pretty well off. Okay, so we're That's good. just a little extra. That's just for my own, you know, my own peace of mind, really. <gasps> oh, Jesus. Oh, that's, that's not going to sound good. That's their microphone. I forgot that that was there. That kind of hurt my chest. 